Happy Saturday, everyone, and happy Saturday in Miami. I'm gonna take you guys through a weekend in my life here living in Miami and I'm very excited because this weekend it's gonna be a pretty chill weekend. I've been traveling a lot and I'm about to travel again for three weeks so I kind of want to take this weekend a little easy but I did want to go vintage shopping to start the weekend because there is this vintage market that's only on Saturdays in Coconut Grove and it's one of my favorite neighborhoods. It looks so cute and it looks like it has really good stuff so that's where we're going right now. I just got ready for the day. I did a quick 3.1 mile run because I am training for my 10k which is in exactly one week. Next Saturday is my 10k so I'm very excited for that but I just showered, got ready, made myself a coffee and some breakfast and now I'm going to meet my friend at this vintage flea market. I wanted to dress cute but casual so I'm wearing this shirt that I actually thrifted in Vienna when I went in Austria um, but it's just Ralph Lauren so it's a very basic white shirt. Uh, this bag is also a vintage Gucci bag. It's from I don't I think it's from the real real um but I got it online and then I have a belt these shorts are from Shopo these shoes I think are called 27 edit natural or something like that I'll have it linked down below sunglasses are Amazon my watch is David Yerman and then I'm headed out to go shopping like I said, I'm traveling for three weeks and I am going to London, the south of Italy and the south of France. And so hopefully I can find some cute things at this flea market that I can wear on that trip. I'm headed back home from the flea market. It was such a cute flea market. I highly recommend. They do it in different places in Miami, but it's called the Little River Flea Market. And the one at the Mayfair Hotel, which is in Coconut Grove, is so beautiful. So whenever they do it there, I'm gonna try to go. I found some really good stuff. And then I headed over to Trader Joe's because I was really close to one and I never go to Trader Joe's anymore. I feel like I always just shop at Whole Foods, but I headed to Trader Joe's and all of the memes about like Trader Joe's employees flirting with you and stuff. Like I always was like, haha, yeah, you know, like they're really nice. But like no they get paid to flirt like the cashiers there were three of them helping me like bagging one of them was bagging my stuff one of them was like the cashier and the other one was just like next to the girl that was oh, was just next to the cashier and they were like okay like are you are you back for school because i went to the trader joe's near university of miami I'm like, oh no, I haven't been in school in a long time. And they were like, what do you mean? How old are you? And I was like, oh, I'm 28. They were floored. And I think they were being really nice. Like, I know I look young, but they were like, oh my God. They were like, how old did you just say you were? Oh my God, you look so great. Not that 28 is old, but like, I don't even see a single pore on your face. They're like, is it from mom's side or dad's side? And I was like, oh, I think I look a lot like my mom and they were like oh my goodness you won the genetic lottery like you're glowing don't see any pores you're so youthful I was like you guys are hyping me up so much um and I know that they get told to do that <laughs> they have to if you've worked at Trader Joe's like is it in the manual like flirt with the employees while you're checking them out because it works and it makes me want to come back because they do it in like a not creepy way I think that's the thing they're just like have such a wonderful day like you beautiful human being and I'm like thank you you too so I feel like it works whatever their tactic is but i'm headed back home i'll show you what i got my groceries are so freaking expensive now like it is actually insane like i didn't get anything for like meals i pretty much just got like snacks and breakfast and i didn't even get like eggs or anything like i got no protein i got like a couple frozen food options like i got soup dumplings and beef bulgogi bulgogi that's it so like not much and it was a hundred dollars like where show me the hundred dollars i don't understand um it's just like crazy at how expensive things have gotten lately anyways i am headed back like i said it's already 5 45 i'll be back by like six and i was like okay i just want to have like a really chill day i need to deep clean my apartment it's literally disgusting and i guess i'm just like so tired because ever since i got back from my run i've I've been go, 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 and I just wanna like lay down. So I think I'm gonna unpack my groceries, lay down, and then before dinner, after dinner, I'll 
clean my apartment and then the good thing is we still have all day sunday sunday is usually my cleaning day anyways so i'm fine to leave it till then it's just like so dirty i really need to clean it I wanted to thank Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is by far the best way to create a website. And if you have a business or you are in the service-based industry, whether you're a photographer or you know you have consulting services, you need Squarespace because you need to design a beautiful website. They also have a new design AI system where they can create so many different designs for you. So you literally, not only did you never have to have a designer, but now it's even more prevalent because AI can just do it for you all within Squarespace. It could even like write blog posts and SEO descriptions. Like it's honestly so smart and you need to try it out. We use AI a lot with Rella, like that is our friend and we have a new website and we did use AI to help us with this website as well. This website was built on Squarespace obviously and it is for our startup. Like it's a venture backed company and we are using Squarespace for our website. It is seriously the nicest website we've ever had and Natasha, who is a designer and not an engineer, designed all of this but using Squarespace. If you guys want 10% off, use my code NatalieBarbu or go to squarespace.com slash NatalieBarbu. This is my $100 grocery haul from Trader Joe's, mind you, which is like a cheaper grocery store. Blueberries. I did get three pork and ginger soup dumplings. Mochi ice cream. Cucumbers. Beef bulgogi cottage cheese, chicken sausage, two things of blackberries, organic dried mango, bread, a few snacks, like ramen noodles, orange juice, milk, and goat milk, kefir. This was $100. That's insane. <laughs> also, I'm wearing my PJs already. Well, my PJ boxer pants. These are from Skims. They're super, super comfortable. But anyways, I'm going to put my stuff away now. And I'm watching Therapist by Jake Shane. Happy Sunday. This means it's a laundry and cleaning day. Yay! I'm driving back from church. It was such a good message. Literally, it's like one of my favorite parts of my Sundays is going to church. And I'm just glad that I actually like have people to go with now and I'm not going alone. Like I have my friends. It's just nice like having people to spend a Sunday morning with. Obviously, when I'm home, I go with my family. We always do a Sunday brunch after church, but I haven't been doing that here. Like me and my friends normally don't go out to eat after and it's been saving me a lot of money. So I actually have food at home. I'm gonna cook. I'm not really hungry right now, um, but I'll cook that for lunch. I'll probably have the same thing for dinner. And then I have a whole day of cleaning and a little bit of work that I have to do. Quickly cleaned my kitchen. I did not vlog it because I was just like doing too much, but I'm about to cook. And I just feel like life is just like washing the dishes and putting the dishes away. Like I genuinely think that that is all life is. Um, but I saw this quote that reframed it. I don't know if it was on TikTok. I don't know if it was a quote, but somewhere I saw it and it was like when people say like life is just like cleaning the dishes and putting them away, it means that life is actually about a lot of home cooked meals. I think it was like cleaning the dishes and doing laundry and it was like that means life is home cooked meals and clean clothes. And I was like, that is so sweet. Like that genuinely should be the reframe. Like it's so nice that I get to constantly have a nice home cooked meal um, and I get to, you know, eat healthy food and enjoy what I'm eating and I get to do it all over again the next day. So that's my new reframe for that. But making some tacos, this should be pretty easy. Smoky tacos with black beans and chili lime salsa. You guys know I use Sun Basket. This is not sponsored. I wish it was, truly. <laughs> it's cut on my grocery bill. It's really easy to make and I have the chicken in the fridge So I'm gonna pull that out But this should only take like 15 to 20 minutes to make and I hope it doesn't make a mess because my kitchen is clean And then I'm gonna move to the other areas of my house and then I'm gonna vacuum And then I actually have work to do so I'll take you guys through that
took a few hours to clean my entire apartment, but it's done and that's what Sundays are for. Now my apartment smells so good. I have the best candles lit sitting here and doing a little bit of work. So I actually took on another job, kind of. <laughs> Me and my friend are managing this social media account for a company in Dallas. So my best friend, she lives in Dallas. You guys probably know her, Julie. She owns the Bernie Bean, which is in Dallas. It's a coffee company. They now have three locations, which is crazy. Um, but one of her locations is in this place called Good Surf, which is like this like surfing shop. It's a place where you can surf on this wave in Dallas. And then they have pickleball. They have food. They have drinks. They have like activities they have her coffee shop like it's such a cool place to hang out we were there when i was in dallas all weekend and it was just like so much fun especially on the weekends they have like cold plunges like it's a really really cool place in dallas so anyways julie and i are running their social media so we're both their social media managers and i was just working on that um and being a social media manager you guys is no joke and obviously i know this from having done it in the past but when i was doing it at my agency tiktok was not really a priority so it was just photos so it was so much different where now everything is video centric so obviously i'm using rella to manage everything um and i'm also just trying to like plan out my week because i just have a busy week this week i feel like that tiktok sound that's like club another club bar <laughs> train plane <laughs> um not that but I'll show you guys kind of how I've been planning out their social media using Rella. So this is like the main view that we see. So this is our calendar. We also have this Kanban board, which shows us what's in progress, what's just an idea, what needs to get approved, like all of this stuff. Like this was just posted, so I can move that to completed. This was also completed. And then this like weekly calendar is in progress. So we can just like see everything that hasn't been completed or is in progress like this can go in progress this can go in pending honestly this can go in pending anyways i'm just moving things around here but if you go to the calendar if you go to the calendar this is where we're kind of seeing like when everything needs to go live um and i just wanted to make sure that we have like all of the stuff for the week so that we're not scrambling so sunday night is a great time to do that i just uploaded this to their instagram and to their tiktok i made this reel cute and then obviously in rella i have all the details so when it's going to go live the caption the hashtags all of this stuff and then i have you know the activity log over here but i can like tag julie and things and it's just really really useful so yeah that's what i've been sending and then whenever i need to send it to the client which is good surf i just go to the folder and then i hit share and i can like share the entire calendar with them so that they can approve it but they're pretty hands off with it which is nice we kind of just went over it in the beginning of the month they approved all the ideas and now we're just making the content for them i am about to start packing for my trip and i just pulled out all of the dresses that i could potentially bring each one of these is for different cities so i'm going to try all of these on and then i'm going to make a note and i'm going to put it in my notes what day for which outfit <laughs> this is what i have for the shoe situation um i feel like i can narrow down one of the heels if i'm allowed to wear white shoes to the wedding but if i'm not allowed to wear white shoes to the wedding then i will have to wear these because i these actually look really cute with the dress but the thing about that is that i am wearing these for literally a, every single other like healed occasion i think i'm just gonna have to wear both i have not packed any of my accessories but i'm definitely taking this and i think i'm going to take my tan purse as like every other day um for the wedding i don't think i'll even like have a purse i don't know maybe i'll actually i have a little tiny black one that i could bring i packed everything in here so this is all of the days so this is like bathing suits and stuff but i think i'm gonna try to squeeze my workout clothes in here as well this is all of italy which i don't know how it fit into these you guys have to have these travel cubes because they like you can like double zip them so that they like squeeze together. Um, so all of Italy is in here. Good luck to me with repacking all of this. This is all of my London stuff. I could not find a way to like make it tiny and like re-zip it, but 
I have like a lot of like jackets and sweaters so I just don't think that's gonna happen and then this is all of my France stuff and then I have a note that I'll show you guys I'll put it on the screen how I pack or how I organize like my outfits so all of these I feel like could honestly fit into a carry-on and then my shoes my accessories everything else into another checked bag I'm not sure it always like looks it always looks like a tiny amount and then I pack it and I'm like wow nothing fits into this suitcase so we'll see but this took me two and a half hours guys I also have to book my nail appointment before I go my eyebrow appointment like being a girl is tough <laughs> One last thing before I can lay in bed on a Sunday, and that is my laundry. I have to unload one, um, unload what's in the dryer, and then put what's in the wash in the dryer, and then I'm done. I'm not folding it tonight though. That is Natalie's chore for next week. Finally, time for bed, so I'm gonna go to sleep. Uh, I'm gonna watch some new girl and I'm gonna go to bed. I need to start reading books again before bed. I haven't read since like February or something like that. I think for this trip, I need to go to the bookstore beforehand and pick out some books. I always go to the bookstore, pick out the books I wanna read and then buy them on my Kindle, which I know is so bad because I should support a local bookstore, but the Kindle is just so tiny. And like when I'm traveling, like you saw all my stuff, like Kindle is just so much more practical. I need to start reading. I've been having like looking at screens all day and then I end my day with watching TV and I know how bad that is. Like I always feel better when I read, but like there's something in me that is like, I do not want to read right now. So please give me good book recommendations. The book that got me in a reading funk was Iron Flame. I think I read Fourth Wing and then if I, whatever the second one is, I could not finish it and I haven't really picked up a book since but yeah that book got me in a reading funk like i thought that this was gonna be my year of reading over 40 books no i'm on like book number 10 and all of that was like january february <laughs> give me book recommendations i love a good love story something cute none of the fairies and dragons and stuff like that because i liked the first book what the second one was just ugh. i don't i don't like reading about like history of kingdoms and stuff like that like that's why i never got into game of thrones like i don't know i just like don't like that stuff so please just give me some easy beach reads anyways i'm gonna go to bed like i said and tomorrow is monday so we start another week i might vlog the week or i might plan out some short form content but let me know what you guys want to see and i cannot wait to go to europe because i will be filming one vlog per week there so every country i go to i will be filming one vlog and i'm so excited for my solo trip i think that vlog will be really fun and i'm trying to go on dates while i'm there so all the outfits that i packed for london i wanted to double as like date night outfits if i like throw on a pair of heels so yeah what is it like to date in london please comment below and let me know but i will be documenting my journey good night guys